A blessed day to you, dear friends. Today, we are celebrating the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. This day is also declared by St. John Paul II in 1997 to be a World Day for Consecrated Life. This is Easter Joy for today's Gospel Power. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they, Mary and Joseph, brought the child up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Holy Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people, Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Simeon's reference to the child Jesus as a sign that will be contradicted echoes Old Testament prophecies about a stone that will become a stumbling block for Israel, a stone rejected by the builders that have become the cornerstone. Now Jesus is to cause division in Israel because reactions to him will reveal those who are truly aligned with the will of God and those who are not. Today, the radical values and lifestyle of Jesus is still a cause of division, revealing those who see them as a stumbling block and so reject them, and those who find them to be stable rock on which to build their lives. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in these confusing times of moral relativism, may you be the solid rock foundation of our lives. Amen. <music> 